Hi there, my name is Bruce Penson from ProDrive and welcome to the latest installment in our Copilot how-to series. So today we're going to cover how you can use Copilot to recap and summarize all the important parts of your Teams meetings. So we're going to get started by uh, showing screen. So bear with me just one second. Okay. So uh, we're going to start off and uh, basically first focus on how you can actually use Copilot or how, what you need to do with your meetings to get Copilot to record them. So the important part is something called transcribing the meetings. So Copilot will transcribe what's going on in the meeting. You don't actually have to record the meeting, although you can do that as well. There's a couple of ways you can do it. So firstly, when you're creating a new meeting from within Teams, it's the important part is to create it from Teams rather than Outlook. You get far more options, by the way, creating um, your meetings within Teams now. So you should always do that, especially if it's an online meeting. Um, so when you go into your meeting, you've got uh, uh, your new meeting window, you've got an options button there. If you click the options button, um, you've got the option to here, record and transcribe automatically. So if you flick that on, once you create your meeting, um, it will then automatically transcribe it. So it means it's ready for Copilot. The other option is if you're already in a meeting and you're the meeting organizer, you've got the option under the, the three dots here for more to record and transcribe the meeting. So you can start transcribing it or you can actually record the meeting as well. So you record all the video um, and sound that goes with it too. But the requirement for Copilot is to start the transcription. So once you've um, run your meeting, uh, you can then go back and view the recap from which Copilot's created. Now, one thing that's really useful here is this meet button in Teams. If you can't see it on the left, you'll have to go into the three dots and look for it in the menu here, but then you can right click and uh, pin it to the left-hand side. I recommend you do that. So if you click on there, you'll see all your previous meetings and upcoming meetings. Um, again, much nicer format than is presented in Outlook. Um, but also you can see in here, um, this meeting that I did last week, um, it's got the transcript there, so I can run Copilot on it. And I've actually got a button here to view recap. So we're gonna do that and we'll get the recap of the meeting. Now, actually this meeting was recorded as well as transcribed. Um, so we've got the meeting there, which we can go back and replay it if we want. That tells you who's speaking at different, different times. And you can see the topics that were discussed as well when it pulls all this out of the transcription. Now, here's the interesting part. So Copilot's already created for me some AI notes there. So it summarized the meeting. Uh, this is an hour and a half meeting, so there's quite a bit of content in it. And you can see under each um, topic, it gives me the detail, I can expand on it as well. If there were any tasks created in the meeting, so um, again, Copilot uses a transcript for that. So if I said, um, I don't know, for instance, to Dan, so one of the actions afterwards, Dan, is for you to go and research more around data security in Copilot. Copilot would pull that from the transcript as well, and it would come in this list of follow-up tasks down here. You can see when people have got mentions. Uh, now, uh, this comes from the chat. Um, I had a problem where my internet cut out during this meeting, so it picks up on that. And you get the full transcript as well if you want to. Now, here's where it gets really powerful. If you click this Copilot button here, and you then get a chatbot. Now, you can see I've already done some demos on this, but you can start asking Copilot's questions about the meeting. So you can see I asked Copilot earlier, what's the best practice around data security? And it's pulled all this information here from the meeting. Um, so this has not come from the internet, it's come from the discussions that we had. So we talked about data tagging, misfiled information. And a really good part is it actually links it to that point in the transcript. So if I'm reading this about data tagging and I'm thinking, mm, yeah, I'm not quite sure the context of that, I can actually click into there and it'll tell me the bit from the transcript and the exact time that that bit came up as well. Um, and I can go in there or I can replay the, the video if you've got it recorded and I can find out um, exactly what the context was around that. 
you can ask all sorts of other questions as well. Um, Copilot gives you some uh, some suggestions too. Um, now, the important thing here is that um, this transcript is you you can only as the meeting organizer, it's you that um, is in control of this. Um, so you can sort of uh, export this information, send it to other people. If other people in your business who have accepted the meeting transcript have Copilot, they'll be able to see this as well. So that uh, concludes our summary of using Copilot to summarize Teams meetings. Uh, there's lots more functionality around Copilot and Teams um, that's coming out very shortly, like doing live in meeting uh, summaries, um, and there'll be more ability to uh, highlight actions from meetings and note things as they, the meeting's going along. So really exciting possibilities here. It means you can focus on the meeting rather than taking notes, um, which means you should be able to have more productive meetings. And of course, um, this point of where people forget what's happened in a meeting um, afterwards, you can easily address that by referring to the transcript and the AI notes here that Copilot creates. So it's really, really, um, it's, a, it's a massive, the impactful way of improving the quality of your meetings. So I hope that's been useful. Thank you very much. And I'll see you in the next video.